Hello everyone, it's J.O. and uh, thanks to a very helpful donation of uh, video capture software and uh, hardware uh, from a, due to, uh, a D2 fan named Kilgore, I am actually able to play PS2 games and do Let's Plays of them. I will say, uh, just as a spoiler, I guess, that I am actually doing post-commentary on the Let's Play. Before you turn it off, uh, I will say I was fully able to do um, commentary during the Let's Play, and I did, and I recorded it, and I went... This sucks because there's there's too many long spaces of me going uh with the you know or um okay now what is this move you know it's me talking about the game and I don't really want to talk about the game um, obviously I'm doing this let's play because I love Yu Yu Hakusho and because I'm an anime reviewer and um I want to talk about the that aspect of it so I you know I I think post commentary kind of works for me <laughs> so. Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament is a game for the PS2, and it's crappy. <laughs> it's a crappy, crappy game, but it was worth the five bucks I paid for it. Um, uh, the one thing I like about it, and I think the thing that makes it endearing to play if you like Yu Yu Hakusho, which, why would you buy it if you didn't, honestly, um, is despite the crappy controls, which, uh, it's so heavily focused on combos and doing combos right and stuff like that, you can't necessarily just button mash, you can, I mean, that's how I win, but, um, but the controls are sticky and laggy and it's just not, and obviously it's not the best looking game, it's just, you know, like, it's a crappy game. But one thing that's really neat about it is you can tell the people that made it really followed the story of Yu Yu Hakusho obnoxiously much because they have every character. I mean, you can unlock every character from the Dark Tournament. Now, the Dark Tournament specifically, for those of you who seen Yu Yu Hakusho, it's a very long shonen series and it is composed of four arcs. The first is sort of an introductory exposition arc with, um, you know, four Chinese god monsters that you have to defeat. Um, and the second is this one, a lot of people's favorites. I consider it the second best after seeing the whole series, you know, recently. I think it's just the second best. I think Sensui and the Psychics are because it's better written. But this is the one everybody enjoys because it's just basically, it's a big tournament. It's a bunch of huge superpowered demons beating up on each other. And, um, you know, there's nothing very carnal about that. And none of the other arcs quite do that. It is also the longest arc. So they made the game solely about this part of the show. Anyway. In keeping with the whole thing of this game being really good at following the story, even if at the expense of, you know, not the best gameplay, but they are true to the story and the moves of the characters. Like, all the characters are here, all their moves are very accurate to what you can see in the show. Like, you get to do everything that those characters do, and, and some more if they needed more moves for a, a minor character like Roto or something. Um, but this, this happened in the series. This guy is blackmailing... Damian Clark, he's a um, voice actor, he doesn't uh, do voice acting anymore from down in Texas, but he was uh, for there for the earliest stuff, like DBZ and uh, Yu Hawk Show, Blue Gender, and Fruits Basket. Anyway, so, uh, where was my mind? Oh, yes. This happens in the sh show, and the whole point of this match, I am, I am trying my best here, as you can see, to beat Tagoro, and you're supposed to lose this, just because that's what happens in this show's story. So there's no point to this, like... As far as teaching you how to fight or anything, you, <laughs> it doesn't help at all, but you, um, but you need to lose it because that's what happened in the show. And um, the whole point of this sequence is basically to show Yusuke who is inevitably going to have to fight in, what, 40 episodes, however long this arc is, at the very end. He has to fight Tagoro. And, um, okay, I like this quote. <sighs> I don't even know why. I just, yeah, I love the character Yusuke. Anyway. So, they make you lose this match in the game, too. Okay, that's fine. And then they make you go through training. Uh, and that would be one thing if it was, t if it was a tutorializing you, sort of. But it's not, for reasons I'll explain. It's a crappy thing for a game to do, but it makes sense in the context of following the story, because he totally did have to do a bunch of training in the, in the um, show before he went to the Dark Tournament. So they're just trying to kind of keep up with the canon. I'm going to stop talking about that, but basically the whole thing of this... If this game is fan service, is the the moves of all the characters you know and love, and following the story beat for beat, you know, even when that means making some weird style matches and you know, like uh, overusing some characters and underusing others that you can fight with, because they're they're going by what happens in the plot and the episode by episode. But I'm gonna stop talking about that. You know, obviously, I've worn that into the ground. So here, they make you do this tutorial stuff, and I fail this, as you're gonna see. I. This was a lot of frustration. It says strafe left. 
Basically, okay, now you can strafe any direction you want and avoid what she's shooting at you, but it won't let you pass the stage until you do exactly what it's saying to do up there. And I wasn't working, like I can't move here because it says strafe right, and so I was hitting right on the control stick, but you're supposed to hit down. It's right from Yusuke's perspective. Oops, guys. So I was like, oh, so you had to pull down on the control stick because... <laughs> Frustrating. So yeah. Um... I still hadn't figured out that out by this time, as you may have noticed. And then I went, oh, it's up and down. Left and right is up and down. So you got strafe left, then you got strafe right, then you got to jump a block. Does this teach you anything? No, not really. <laughs> it's it's just there to be part of the whole training thing. Now, Genkai, for those again who haven't watched the show, is um, you get to find as her, and she's actually a pretty good character in this game. I'll talk about what characters I do and don't like to play as in this game. Yusuke, I love to play as because I'm a button masher. Um, here's how to beat me in any given fighting game. Um know full well, and this is something I can never change about myself because I've tried to learn it and I don't play games often enough to pick up on it, but playing Brawl, playing Melee, playing, you know, any any fighting game, um, Tekken or Soul Calibur, I don't block. I don't do that. Like, ever. When Especially, that's really bad in the Smash Brothers games, why I brought them up first. You need to learn to block in those games, and I don't block. I just melee. I mash buttons. Uh, you know, just ah, as fast as I can. If I try to remember a special technique or combo and get that hammered in my head at certain times, then I will. But for the most part, just, ah, you know, that's why I was Sheik in Melee all the time, because that's Sheik's specialty. She's not very strong, but she's fast and she, you know, can recover okay and, you know. So, I like Yusuke because he's a button masher. He's a puncher. He doesn't... Weirdly enough, for a character that canonically is supposed to have the greatest fount of spirit energy because humans have the greatest capacity for growth or some s nonsense like that, um, they're weak compared to demons, but they have the greatest capacity for change and unexpected blah 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 emotions and stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they make you- okay, this would be helpful, this thing right here teaching you all the moves, if Yusuke was the only character you played as. But he's not. In the Dark Tournament, you play equally, uh, maybe a little more as Yusuke, but not by much. You play pretty much equally as all the other characters. Even even Genkai here, who has, you know, they all have different movesets from Yusuke's entirely in different strengths. So this doesn't help you at all. And it takes me figure out, forever to figure out how to slide here. Bleh, bleh, slid, run, damn it. <laughs> bleh, 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 bleh. So, yeah, this is totally unhelpful. And, um, sorry you get to see the boring parts of the game first, but, um, in recording this, I have a very limited amount of time before I have to go, uh, to class and go to take care of some things and work on some other stuff. So, I will come back and make this Let's Play, um, longer. But, at the moment, I'm just doing this preliminary stuff to get it out of the way. Um, uh, what else is there to talk about? I don't talk about the characters, but they haven't shown up yet. It's mostly just Yusuke here. Um... Okay, yeah, so you can see why this is a crappy game right now, but uh, there are parts of it that are less crappy, so um, I would like to point those out once they come up. Genkai needs to shut the fuck up, my word. Can you hear her? I, <sighs> she probably can. Yeah, you hear that? Okay. She bitches you out this entire time. And there's a training mode where you, again, learn the combos. That's how you get the combos for everybody, is you select their character, go into training mode, and it will list them all for you, and you go through them just like you're doing here. So this is just a training level. Um, but Genkai talks all through that, too. And I guess you could manually turn off all the voices and shut her up, but I like some of the voices in this, and I like hearing their battle cries. I just don't want to hear Genkai railing. And I think... Okay, I gotta test this later, but I think when I went into training mode and turned off the voices, Genkai still speaks. So they're fighting silently. You don't get to hear the ha ha noises that you like to hear, but Genkai won't shut up. So I was really disappointed. I was like, ah. Oh. And uh, I don't remember the name of the voice actress that plays her, uh, Linda Young or something like that. Linda something. Um, she's good, and I like her in the show. It's just, it's annoying when you have to hear this person over and over and over. <laughs> Wait a second, try to find. Okay, I beat the training level. Oh my god, that was so long. Okay. I think, believe it or not, there's one more training thing I have to do. Yeah, there is. Okay. I know what to talk about here. Um, they're cheating. This is the video footage they show for this in order to, um, make this look like it's a training montage. Okay, I like this clip too. A big rock. Yeah, that explains everything. Just shoot it with your <laughs> Yusuke is a smartass. This right here is not from the beginning of the show. This is halfway through the Dark Tournament, this clip they show, and another one earlier that they showed. Um, and it's from a place where um, 
this is not, like, she's not teaching him how to use the spirit gun. He knows how to use it or whatever. It was, like, demonstrating how far away, like, she uses hers, and she's a feeble old woman, right after this, and it blows up a mountain. He blows up this rock, and she blows up a mountain, and it was basically to show him, and then she says, and I can't beat Tagoro, who is this guy that's blackmailed them into fighting this tournament. Um, that whole thing was, and then there's a big thing about her trying to give him some of her power or something, but, uh... Yeah, it was kind of a neat scene because it shows, like, you know, after all this training he's done and all this powering up, you know, is he's like, oh, surely he can beat the bad guy in the end, and, and we're halfway through the tournament, we're very close to him having to face this guy, and he's not even close. It's like, oh, you're gonna, it's where she basically stops Yusuke and says, you're going to die. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up on the rest of the, uh, the battles later, and, um, thanks for watching, and, oh, you need to be watching the last Airbender review that me and, uh, Todd in the Shadows and, um, White Roller Time and, uh, Chris Roller T have all done, because that's up right now, so go watch that if you're watching this instead, and, um, I will finish up this Let's Play sometime in the future, and I'm sorry this was just the boring parts, but, um, hey, you know, if you enjoyed it, uh, glad you did. I'm going to talk more about the characters and actually the fight and the, the Dark Tournament what's so cool about it some other time, but, eh, yeah, this was short. I don't think it hurt you too much, did it?